The Aeronautical Development Agency is carrying out integration of Hammer Smart Air to Surface Standoff Weapon on the Tejas Mark 1A light combat aircraft. The DRDO is all set to carry out the reliability and safety analysis of Astra Mark 1 missile integration on Tejas aircraft for four different scenarios. Cadet Defense has developed a kamikaze drone that has a range of 300 km, and it can loiter over a target area for a long period of time until the target is located. The DRDO and Hindustan Aeronautics are planning a collaborative effort to integrate and expand radar on Dornier aircraft. The RDO officials have said that the organization possesses the technological know-how to create a Pinaka-based missile similar to the Israeli Rampage. Indian Coast Guard has signed a MOU with Hindalco Industries for the supply of indigenous aluminium for shipbuilding. Adani Defense to deliver the first Drishti 10 unmanned aerial vehicle and UAV launched precision guided munition to the Indian Army on 18th May. The armies of India and France will hold the 7th edition of the Shakti Joint Military Exercise from 13th May. The future models of the Ashmi gun will feature variable shorter or longer barrel lengths and compact receivers. Garden Reach shipbuilders held the key laying ceremony of the 8th anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft for the Indian Navy. China's third aircraft carrier has returned to the port after completing its pre 8 day sea trial and will soon begin trials of its carrier-borne fighter jets. Pakistan Army is accelerating its acquisition of hundreds of 155mm SH-15 truck-mounted advanced mobile artillery systems from China. The Tejas Mark 1A is set to gain an anti-AWAX missile based on the DRDO-developed STAR missile. This air-to-air -air variant of the STAR missile boasts an impressive range of 300 km that is specifically designed to neutralize slow-moving high-value aerial platforms like AWAX aerial refuelers and airborne jammers. Ramjet propulsion will enable the STAR missile to maintain high velocity throughout its flight, allowing for quicker engagement and a higher probability of success against even the most evasive targets. With 40 Su-30 aircraft already modified to carry BrahMos air-launched cruise missile, plans are to make additional 19 Su-30 aircraft to be upgraded for BrahMos compatibility, while the remaining fleet will get the lighter variant known as BrahMos NG, that won't require modifications or hardening of the Su-30 fuselage. The Air Force has plans to integrate more air-launched ballistic missiles and even hypersonic air-launched cruise missile like the BrahMos-2 on the Su-30, that will convert them into mini-strategic bombers. The AMCA program is set to receive a significant boost with the integration of the RDO-developed ultra-wideband radar-absorbing skin, which promises to enhance the AMCA's stealth capabilities. It is a specially designed material that absorbs electromagnetic waves across a wider range of frequencies, including those used by advanced radars, which makes the aircraft significantly less visible to radar detection, giving it a critical advantage in modern warfare. Boeing has confirmed that both F-18 Super Hornet and F-15 EX fighter jets offer will remain on the table for the MRFA competition, giving the Indian Air Force more options to choose from. This move by Boeing also intensifies competition with Lockheed Martin, that is also vying for the contract with its F-21 fighter. Beyond the American contenders, four more manufacturers are in the race for the MRFA program, and the Indian government will prioritize factors like technical capabilities, transfer of technology and life cycle costs while making its final decision. Today's Top 3 Comments